Okay, I'm gonna give a quick rundown of my system here. Um, I have three ROS nodes running right now. Um, a tank control node, which handles the tracks and moving the tank around. I've got an LED um, control node here that's handling a little servo moving back and forth um, and RGB control on the little searchlight thing. And then up here, I have my um, controller hooked up via Bluetooth to the Raspberry Pi that's actually on the tank. I'll show you that here in a second. But this is just running um, a, a joy node. So it's running the joystick control and then converting them to twist messages um, using something called Telop Twist Joy. So those get sent over to the tank control, which moves it around. Um, and I'm using uh, two different activate or enable buttons, I guess. Um, one directly in the Telop Twist Joy package, and then uh, one directly in my LED control package as well. Um, just two different ways to do the same thing and just show you that a single button on the controller can actually control multiple different I guess features in a node um, depending on what it's doing so just as long as those features don't overwrite so um, so this is it so I'm gonna go over to my tank now and I've just got the plain um, yeah boom g1 tank and all I've done is put the Raspberry Pi onto it and then built these uh... okay so all I've uh, really modified on this is the software it's a stock G1 Yaboom tank, or I guess it's Yaboom G1 tank. Um, and then you have to buy either with it or third party a Raspberry Pi. And I've chosen a Raspberry Pi 4. Connected it up with its little, there's like a ribbon connector in there. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. Like the, the instructions aren't great, but they, they work good enough. So. Uh, what I have is Ubuntu 22 running on the Raspberry Pi 4, and then I have ROS 2 Humble um, running on that. And so I have, like I showed in the beginning of the video, three different nodes running, kind of doing different things. Um, and this is just kind of a demonstration. There's nothing too crazy about this system. Um, you can look at my code online and see what I've done. I've tried to be really thorough in my comments so that you guys can learn from it as well. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions, though, uh, either reach out on GitHub or um, on this post here. But here, I'm going to put down my phone and kind of show you uh, what we have. So we're going to go a little wider so we can see a little bit bigger. And try to angle this. I think this will work. So I um, have the controller. So I'm just going to, if this was a normal Xbox controller, and I am using the uh, the Telop Joy package config file for Xbox. Um, this seems to connect to Ubuntu the same way as an Xbox controller does, so that's pretty handy. Um, so if you're using an Xbox controller, I think it's the A button. On this one, it happens to be the B, but it's actually the same physical button on the controller, so the bottom one. So if we hit that, that's going to activate the tank, and then that will make my joysticks work, which will then start to move the tank. And same thing for the servo on the front. The B button activates it. And now if I hit that, it doesn't move it. But if I hit the hold the B button and then move it, we should be able to see the front servo move back and forth. So then if I want to turn on the lights, I can also hit like the X button on top. And there's the purple light. And I did a red light. And I think a green one. And those are all just programmed in the ROS node. Uh, so same thing. Um, so again, if the button isn't pushed, the tank won't move. No button, no tank move. So then we activate the tank, and then it can start moving. And I've done a little bit of optimization. So the meters per second of the tank should be pretty close. You might need to check yours if you're using the same one and make sure it's identical. Um, I built a linear test that just moves the tank one meter per second for one second. And you should be able to take a tape measure, see if it, when it's 36 inches or close to it, um, actual meter, <laughs> and then adjust based on that. So you can kind of see, as I'm moving this left, it pivots left. If I move it right, it pivots right. 
up makes it gently move forward and back. And I'm getting speed control too. So if I push it hard up, it's going fast, push it hard down, it's going fast back. Um, and this is set to one meter per second. I actually have a turbo button as well, which if you press and hold both of them at the same time, it'll go like maybe 1.3 meters a second. It's a little faster. So, and this thing's pretty quick, it's strong. I haven't had it really get held up on anything yet. Um, but yeah, I love a little squeaky track on it. Reminds me of a real tank. Uh, and that's kind of it. Hope you enjoyed.